Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back in a Fortnite video and today's video I'm gonna show you guys the number one setting that you guys should change That's going to help you guys improve your aim a ton here in season 4 I want to show you guys the couple changes that I made and why you guys should make these changes as well So if you guys are struggling to aim definitely stay to the end of the video because these setting changes will make a huge difference on your accuracy and real quick before we get into the video I have a V buck giveaway. I give away V bucks every single Single Friday. So if you guys would like to enter this giveaway and win some free V bucks, all you guys have to do is to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys get notified for every single new upload and when I announce the winners every Friday. And lastly, make sure you guys put down your Xbox gamer tag, your PSN gamer tag, or Epic account down in the comment section below, and you guys will be automatically entered into the giveaway. And lastly, if you guys like to support me in the item shop, all you guys have to do go down to the bottom right, hit on support creator type of my creator code which is young humor and you guys will have me added and supported as a creator in the item shop and all right guys let's go right to the video all right so in this video like i said i want to show you guys the one setting change that i made that made a huge difference because there was one thing that i was running to or i was running into game after game that i really noticed and was having a big problem and was affecting my aim a lot so when it came to aiming, one of the biggest things that I noticed that was causing me problems was going to be the recoil on the guns. And I want to show you guys what I did to kind of mitigate and also give you guys some very good tips and tricks to control your aim a lot better. So one thing you guys can change that I like a lot is if you want to lower your HUD skill, I recommend anything from like a 75 to an 80%, maybe a little bit lower if you guys decide you want to do that and the reason being it gives you just a little bit more fov because it makes your gun smaller and your map so if so if you're going for a flick shot on another player who happens to be to your upper right or bottom right you're gonna have a little bit more fov on you know on, on the player you're going against so it's gonna be a lot easier to track and hit your shots now as far as the settings these are just the settings that i have but like I said, the most important thing and one of the biggest things that I noticed was my recoil was just a little bit too strong for the weapons I was using. So as far as my ADS sensitivity, I play on 11% and a 10%. I really like the sensitivity a lot. I switch in between a 10, 10, 11, 11, and like 11, 10. That's just like a good medium between being very good at long range but also at the same time being good enough or at least fast enough of a sensitivity where if I need to track someone with my shotgun, I'm able to do so. But I really want to talk about look dampening time and why this can really help you guys out a lot when it comes to your recoil because I have recommended this setting in the past. But one specific thing that I want to show you on why this is such a big deal, I play on about a point. 07 what you should play on is really just up to you i would recommend giving like a point zero eight a try or like a point you know maybe a point 12 just give it out a little bit but as you can see when you go to shoot your ar really any gun in the game but this is really important for longer ranges is when you go to shoot your weapon of course you're going to have recoil when it comes to ranges so there is a couple of factors that you have to consider when you have recoil because if you have recoil on your weapon that means you're going to have to hold down just slightly on your right analog stick because if your gun's going up you kind of have to hold down your right analog stick a little bit to kind of adjust for the recoil that you have now when you're holding down one thing you're going to notice is if you want to go for a headshot on another player you're going to have to make a small analog stick adjustment because if you have recoil and it goes up to like maybe like the top left or the top right you're going to have to make a small analog stick adjustment to get back on the other player and if you don't have look dampening time, that's going to be a lot more difficult to do on the other player you're shooting at. So that's why it's really important and I would highly recommend having a little bit of a look dampening time on. So when you're shooting your guns at range like your assault rifle or even like a close range situation with your SMG, you're going to be able to control your recoil a lot better. And if you're aiming at the head, you're going to be getting a lot more headshots because you're going to be able to hold down your analog stick a lot better and you're going to be a lot more accurate with your shots and one thing you want to uh you want to keep in mind and as i'm showing here you're going to notice that if when you're aiming at another player i highly recommend that you aim for like the chest area if you want to improve your aim i highly recommend aiming for the chest instead of the head because if you're making a small analog stick adjustment like on linear settings you're going to notice that the chest area has a lot more aim assist to it because you have a bigger surface area to shoot at 
versus the head at long ranges. So if the player is just standing still in the middle of the open, of course you could probably line up the headshot. But when you're going against another player in game, it's really important that the majority of times you want to aim at the chest. And of course with recoil too, a lot of times what can happen is if you aim at the chest, the recoil can bump it up and even give you a headshot. So you want to just keep that in mind if you are, if you are struggling at long ranges, I highly recommend putting that little bit of a look damping time on so you can be able to control your recoil a lot better and at the same time you want to aim for the chest because when you're aiming for the chest it's a larger surface area to aim at which you're going to have a better aim assist slowdown and if you're aiming at the head from distance it's a really small target to hit and making that precise small analog stick adjustment especially on linear settings if you're not on like a 5% ADS it's going to be very difficult to do. Now I still think if you have the look damping time off, I, feel, I still think you can aim pretty well and hit your shots, but I just feel like it's going to be just slightly more difficult. To, I mean, I think it really depends on the player, but at least for me, it's just a slight bit more difficult to line up the headshots from range when I don't put a look damping time on compared to when I do. So that's why I highly recommend giving this setting a, a look. Also as well, it's really important to if you use a if you're using an SMG from about this range, which is like a box length away. And usually what I do is, you know, because of the recoil, one thing I always just remember to do when I'm shooting at people from this range or even long range is when I go to shoot at the other player, I, I hold down my right analog stick just a little bit. Because one thing I noticed is the SMGs seem to have a little bit more recoil. I, I think I feel like the TAC SMG, the one that they just recently added back to the game, has a little bit more recoil than the SMG from last season so you have to really make sure that you're able to control your recoil and if you go to shoot just slightly hold down on your analog stick to kind of adjust for the recoil that you're going to have. Now another thing you can change is going to be your dead zones. Now these are really important as well because your dead zones kind of you know there's your dead zones are basically how fast your analog sticks are going to register when you move them because if you play on a high dead zone you have to move your analog analog stick more versus if you play on a low one you just have to move it slightly so i recommend playing in these single digits as far as the dead zone but it can get a little bit tricky because if you do play on single digit dead zones at least for a lot of you guys it can add a little bit of stick drift to your controller which honestly i don't mind i don't think it's that big of a deal i really only notice it when i'm standing still and you know, I'm just I have my controller down or something. But I'm in gunfights. I'm shooting at other players or building. I really don't notice. The only thing I do notice is the significant improvement over my my crosshair. So when I'm aiming, building, and editing, I feel a lot more accurate, a lot more precise. So trying to lower your dead zones as much as possible is going to be very crucial if you want to improve your aim. Now, if you're not able to lower your dead zones that much per se i would recommend just lowering the look stick dead zone that's gonna be your right analog stick just move that dead zone down you can keep the dead zone for your move analog stick so your left analog stick just keep it the same and just lower the right one because that's going to be the one you're aiming with mostly and that's the dead zone that you're going to it's, it's going to allow you to hit a lot more shots if you have a lot of if you have more control over that analog stick, you're going to be a lot more accurate and hitting way more shots, and it's going to allow you to win way more games here in this season. So those are going to be the settings that I have to improve my aim. Just really take away, you have to just understand the recoil, and sometimes I can mess you up a lot in gunfights, but specifically with the TAC SMG that they added, I have noticed it feels like there's a lot more recoil than the previous SMG, meaning that you have to be a little bit more cautious when you go to shoot it, and you might want to hold down just slightly on your right analog stick when you're shooting, and also I think having just a little bit of a look damping time is going to help you control your recoil a lot better, because I feel like that's one of the biggest problems and at least for myself, when I go to shoot people at range or if I'm spamming them with my SMG, you know, you know, I'm jumping in their box and spamming them, I feel like I'm missing way more shots than I should because my gun is, you know, going all over the place. So those are the settings that I would recommend to change. Oh, and also not to mention when you're going to shoot another player and especially from longer ranges, you always want to aim at the chest because there's going to be a bigger hitbox and you're going to have a lot more 
of an aim assist slowdown because you have a lot more of the other player to shoot at. So that's another thing you want to keep in mind as well. But with that being said, that's wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you found this helpful, make sure you guys do drop a like. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Hit that notification bell so you guys get notified for every single new upload. And as well, I do live stream every single day here on this channel at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time. So hit that notification bell so you guys will get a notification when I go live on this channel. I play solos every single day. So make sure you guys hit that notification so you guys get a notification when I play on stream. But with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching the video. And all right, guys, I'll see you next video.